In this video, we're going to learn about how to read a Python traceback in order to fix bugs that are causing program crashes. We're talking about this output. You see when a crash occurs, this is printed to standard error. We're going to learn about what this means and how we should interpret it. So this is the toy program that produces the unhandled exception that was seen in the previous traceback, which we'll go through in detail. We have three functions in this program that are called starting at the module level with this first call function. That function then in turn calls second call. And we'll see why we have so many nested function calls like this in a bit. That uh, function second call will then in its function body call the final function third call, which will try to add a string to an int, which will raise a type error in Python at runtime. Uh, the type error exception is not being handled here, i.e. this line of code is not within a try except block. So this is going to cause a crash. And the traceback for that crash is what we saw previously and is printed here again. So what these tracebacks represent is the state of the Python call stack at the time of the crash. Each two line block here entitled file uh, toy.py line foo in bar represents a stack frame. So what are stack frames? What is the call stack? When Python calls a function, an object called a stack frame is pushed onto the call stack. The call stack is what the program uses to keep track of function calls. Each frame on the stack, which is represented by a box in this cartoon, keeps track of, for example, the arguments of the function and local variables defined in the function body. When we don't need any of that data anymore, when execution returns to the caller, when the function returns, the stack frame is popped from the top of the stack. The frame at the very bottom of the stack is called the global or module frame. So in case that didn't make sense, let's look at a little cartoon of how our call stack gets built up as our program executes. At the beginning of program execution, we are in the module frame. So that's when we are in this if dunder name uh, equals dunder main uh, if statement. At the module level, we call first call. So that will add another uh, stack frame onto the call stack. In the body of first call, we call another function second call, which again pushes another stack uh, frame onto the call stack. And finally, in second call, we call the final function third call, which adds one more stack frame uh, onto the stack. And that's where the program crash occurs. And that will occur in this third call uh, stack frame. So those are all the stack frames for this um, program. And I added all of the nested calls in this toy example, such that uh, there are multiple frames on the call stack when the program crashes. Uh, when you're debugging more complex issues where the error you need to debug might come from code you've written or a third party dependency or code deep in the Python standard library, there can be a lot of stack frames here. And that can uh, be one of the reasons why the tracebacks can be confusing to people. Armed with this knowledge of the Python call stack, we can now look back at the traceback. We can see that the traceback is basically printing out the contents of the call stack, starting at the bottom of the call stack. So the top frame, uh, that's printed out in the traceback is the uh, module frame. So it's printing at the bottom of the call stack and reading the frames from bottom to top. And if you think about it, that makes sense because what's useful for debugging is uh, understanding how did we get to this, this point where a crash occurred. And this traceback kind of tells the story of, well, first in the module level, we called first call and then we called the next function and so on until we hit the crash. So that's very useful when you're debugging issues. The final line of the printed traceback has the type of the exception being handled. So you'll commonly see name error, syntax error, and in this case, type error. Those are the built-in exceptions in Python. And of course, you can have custom uh, exception classes. And the second part of that final line contains the details of what went wrong. So at this point, we understand a lot about this traceback for debugging purposes. We know that each one of these two line um, 
parts in the traceback starting with file correspond to a function call and they correspond to a stack frame. We know how we got to the point in program execution where the crash occurred because we can read this series of uh, functions uh, that were called to get here. We know the type of the exception that occurred and we can at this point go and look at the specific line referenced in the final stack frame and get the context uh, on that line of code if needed and figure out what the problem was. Those would be the next steps in debugging uh, this uh, exception. So as additional background, what Python is doing when an unhandled exception occurs uh, behind the scenes is calling sys accept hook. And if you're so inclined, you can customize uh, the behavior when unhandled exceptions occur by overriding uh, this hook, that is by assigning sys accept hook to another function. See that in action. Here I have that same uh, program, toy.py, so we can get the trace back we saw previously by just running that program. There we go. That's our familiar type error. So to make a custom uh, exception hook, we'll first need to import the sys module. And then we'll need to define a function that is going to override a sys accept hook. So let's call it boom. And instead of printing the traceback, I just want to print boom. So these custom accept hooks need to take three arguments. They have to take the exception type, they need the uh, instance of the exception, which we'll call exception value. This is just canonical. Uh, and then we also need to pass the traceback object, uh, which has the information about the call stack at the time of the exception being raised. So now we have our function defined. And then in order to actually assign this so that it's used, uh, we will need to set sys accept hook to our boom function. So now if we run this, what should happen is we should print boom to screen. And indeed, that is what happens. In summary, we learned about how the program's call stack is constructed during program execution. We learned that each function call produces a new stack frame. And we saw that the traceback details each stack frame, as well as provides information about unhandled exceptions that we can use for debugging purposes. We also learned that Python is calling sys accept hook when an un unhandled exception occurs, and we can use that to control how tracebacks are formatted. I hope this was useful, and thank you for watching.